Hello, my name is Steve Hayes and I'm with Allsafe Industries, a veteran-owned small business specializing in technical safety equipment for industry, first responders, and our military. This video will cover the Draeger XM Series Gas Detection. If this video helps you in any way, we would appreciate help from you. An easy thing to do is to like and subscribe. Do that now, please, and thank you. An even better thing you can do is to be our customer. We think you'll appreciate our quick customer service and the attention to detail that you'll see in this video. Thank you in advance for whatever you choose to do. This video will cover the daily startup of the XAM series four gas and multi-gas meters from Draeger. We'll also discuss the three methods of performing bump checks and calibrations. I'll show how to do these tests manually, or by using the Draeger bump test station, and finally, using the Draeger x dock Each method will bump test the sensors in your gas meter or perform the calibration at the factory recommended interval of every six months. We'll start with the bump test, which is required before each day's use. A bump check is the best way to ensure your meter is working properly and reading accurately. Watching the sensors react to gas will give you confidence that they would respond when you measure the atmosphere in a confined space or your work area. If the meter fails the bump test, run a calibration to adjust the accuracy of the sensors. Here are three ways to perform these tests. First, turn on the Draeger XM series meter and let it go through the warm-up. While this XAM 2500 meter is getting going, let me mention the four versions of the XAM series that apply to this video. First, the basic four gas versions, either the 2500 as you see here, or the new XAM 2800 series that includes wireless functionality. And then there's the multi-gas versions, the XAM 5000, and the new XAM5800 that includes wireless functionality. These are the four gas meter versions. These are the multi-gas meter versions with the biggest difference between these being the sensor options and the price points. Now that this meter is ready, let's perform a manual bump test. This is the simplest and most cost-effective method. You'll need the following accessories. Calibration cradle, a cylinder of calibration gas with the factory standard values, a fixed flow rate regulator, and tubing to connect to the cow cradle. Be sure to check the expiration date on the cylinder of calibration gas. And then when you engage the regulator, be sure to check the gauge to ensure there's still gas in the cylinder. Finally, connect the tubing from the regulator to the calibration cradle. Now take the meter, lay it in the cradle, and rock it forward until it clicks into place. Press the blue button three times to access the quick menus. And then select this icon to begin the bump check. If you don't see the bump check icon in the quick menu, you'll need to set this up using CC Vision software, which is a free download from the Draeger website. Bear in mind, you will also need the infrared communication accessory. You can see it installed here in this calibration cradle, making this both a calibration accessory and a communication accessory. Select the bump check icon and then press the yellow OK button to start the bump test. Turn the gas on by turning the knob on the regulator until it was all the way open. Keep applying the cow gas until the display shows OK on all the sensors. I have OK on all four sensors, so press the OK button on the meter. Turn off the cow gas and remove the meter from the cow cradle by pressing this release tab. You can exit the quick menus by pressing the blue button. You'll notice that my sensors are still responding to the gas that we just used for the bump check. You'll hit the OK button to silence those once they've dropped down far enough. 
and then you'll notice that all the sensors will drift back down to zero, except for the oxygen sensor, which should read 20.9%. If your XM is a four gas variety like this one, the one cylinder of four gas mix is all that is required and the bump test is done in one step. If your XM is a multi gas variety and you have a set of sensors that require additional cylinders of calibration gas, then you'll repeat this sequence for each sensor using each cylinder of gas until all the sensors have been bump tested. If the meter fails the bump test and the meter is programmed to do this, a full calibration automatically begins. Continue applying the cow gas during the cow sequence until the sensors reach full scale and press OK. If the meter passes calibration, you can safely use this meter. If it does not, tag it out of service. A qualified service center, like Allsafe Industries, can assist in replacing failed sensors and properly recalibrating your meter. If you need to run a full calibration on your XM Series gas meter, here's how to do it. Press and hold the blue button to enter the menus. Hold that down for about five seconds. Once the password screen comes up, you're gonna enter 001 for your password. So zero, zero, and then I need to make this a one using the plus button, and then hit okay. You have three options, fresh air calibration, a one-step calibration when all of your gases are in one cylinder and then the calibration menu that would calibrate individual sensors. I'm going to use the one-step calibration so I'm going to use the plus button to advance to one cal and then hit OK. Then I'm going to put my meter in the calibration cradle, push till it snaps. I'm going to turn my calibration gas all the way on and I'm going to watch for these sensors to react to the gas. Once you hear that beep and you see that all the sensors say OK, the sensors have reached full scale and the calibration is complete, turn off your calibration gas, release the meter from the calibration cradle, hit the blue button just to advance past the last calibration menu. Of course, the sensors are still reacting to gas, so press the OK button to silence those alarms and then watch the sensors drift back down to zero, except for oxygen, which will say 20.9%. This completes the full calibration on your Draeger XM Series gas meter. Next, let's use Draeger's bump test station to do the same process. The benefit here is simplicity, in that the meter is able to switch to bump test mode on its own and begin automatically upon insertion. You'll need the following accessories. The bump test station, which includes a built-in demand flow regulator and a cylinder of calibration gas with the factory settings, just like we used before. Be sure to check the expiration date on the cow gas label. Install the cylinder and then check the pressure gauge to ensure that there's still gas inside the cylinder. This test station is primarily for the four gas version meters. Now take the meter, lay it in the cradle, and rock it forward until it clicks into place. The cradle will trigger gas to flow and the bump check to begin. Once the bump test is complete and shows the sensors have passed, press the OK tab to remove the meter from the cow cradle. Again, we're still responding to the gas that was used for the bump test. Press the OK button to silence those alarms and then watch those sensors float back down to zero except for the oxygen, which will read 20.9%. If the meter fails a bump test and the meter is programmed to do this, a full calibration automatically begins. Cow gas will continue to flow during the cow sequence until it is complete. If the meter passes calibration, you can safely use this meter. If it does not, tag it out of service. Go to the Allsafe Industries website, download our service form, and send it in. We'll provide you with an estimate before any repairs are completed. Finally, you can perform bump tests and calibrations using the XDOC calibration station. This is the most advanced method of the three we've discussed. 
the x -Doc is fully programmable without the use of a PC and documents all tests performed in an internal database. You will of course need a properly programmed x -Doc, the correct cylinders of calibration gas, and Drager's pressure demand regulator and tubing. This detail is very important. A demand flow regulator, like we would use with other methods and other brands of gas detection, won't work with the x -Doc. It must be Drager's pressure demand regulator. Once again, check the gauge that you have pressure on the cylinder and then fully open the pressure demand regulator. Turn on the x -Doc and let it go through its warm-up sequence. To begin, simply lay the meter in the cradle and close the lid. The x -Doc can be programmed to automatically begin the pre-programmed choice of quick bump, extended bump, or calibration when you close the lid. If you begin with the bump test and it fails, the x -Doc will automatically perform a full calibration. Use the touchscreen controls to access information about the meters and the test performed. So what's the difference between a quick bump test and the extended bump test? As I said before, a bump check is the best way to ensure your meter is working properly and reading accurately. The quick version simply confirms that the meter is working properly and the gas path is clear and the sensors respond. The extended version tests that the sensors respond to the cow gas within a certain range and within a certain time. Simply use the touch screen to select the test that you want to run. Once these tests are complete, you can now use your XAM series for the day's work. If you're using this meter in diffusion mode as you see here, clip the meter onto part of your work uniform, vest, radio strap, preferably in the breathing zone. Remember, we're monitoring the air that we're breathing and working in, so be sure the sensor area of the instrument remains exposed. So wear the meter up near your face, which also allows you to hear the alarms clearly if you're working in a loud environment or while wearing hearing protection. If you are performing a confined space entry or you need to draw gas samples from a distance, you'll use a pump module. This is the Mark II pump for the XM Series gas meters from Draeger. It utilizes an infrared connection to the meter to work as a combined unit. As soon as you clip the pump on the meter, the IR signal activates the pump and the first step you'll have to do is perform a pump stall test. You can see here on the screen that it's showing me to either pinch the tubing or block the inlet with my finger. Once the icon on screen changes back to saying release that, you'll hear an audible confirmation that the pump is working properly. Be sure that you're always using a filter on your pump module to protect it from dust and dirt and any liquids that might be ingested. You can attach a probe or additional tubing that will allow you to draw samples from a distance. And then when you're finished, you'll remove the pump and it will stop running. I'd suggest putting it back on charge so that the battery is full and ready to go for the next time. You'll see the USB charging port right here in the bottom. That concludes this video. Again, we hope you learned more about your Draeger XM Series gas meter and the different methods available for performing bump tests and calibrations. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, call our toll-free number, or fill out a contact form on our website. We are here to serve you and we would appreciate having you as a customer. Thank you.